And yet, what is the worst evil in the world? Is the worst evil pain? Is the worst evil sickness? Is the worst evil poverty? Is the worst evil loneliness? Are those the evils that we really need to be delivered from? Loved ones, there's an evil far worse than that. If you just look back to Exodus, I'd show you it. And it's one we read, it's a verse we read last time. It's Exodus 16 and verses 1 through 3. And it's the start of that historical record, really. Exodus 16, 1 through 3. It's page 59. They set out, that's the Israelites, set out from Elam. And all that congregation of the people of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after they had departed from the land of Egypt. And the whole congregation of the people of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness and said to them, Would that we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt when we sat by the flesh pots and ate bread to the full. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. That's sin. That's the worst evil. Self-sufficiency. And I know you all say we're different. But loved ones, we're just the same as those old Israelites. We'll settle even for a limited happiness or a limited security as long as it is under our control. That's it. We'd rather have the flesh bots and the slavery back in Egypt. We'd, we'd rather put up with those as long as they're under our control. But we hate to be driven beyond our own resources. And that's why we dislike evil so much when it touches our lives. That's why we hate it. We hate to be driven out beyond our own resources. We are miserable petty, small-minded little creatures that want to be our own God. And we want to have our own little universe, and we want to be able to control it. And so what if it's not the wonderful, magnificent experience that our Creator planned for us? Well, at least it's something that I can control. At least it means I don't have to depend on somebody else. And you know the reluctance that you feel felt when you first learned to float on water and you put yourself back you remember and you tried to lie back and boy you didn't want to get your feet off the bottom that's really typical of our whole lives we don't like to be driven beyond ourselves we like to have things in our own control and you see that's the heart of sin because God's whole plan was that we would never live this life on our own. We would never live it by our own resources, never live it by our own power. His plan was that we would be forced by the exigencies of this life to reach out beyond ourselves to him. And that's how he uses evil. He didn't create evil, but he allows it to touch our lives because it drives us beyond our own resources and beyond our own abilities. And it drives us beyond our self-sufficiency. Really, we're, we're all like the old man that was walking along the road with a great bundle of wood on his back. And a passing farmer in a donkey cart stopped and said, do you want a ride? And the old man said, yeah, I'd be really grateful. And he got up onto the donkey cart with the farmer. And after about a quarter of a mile, the farmer looked round, and the old guy was sitting, and the big bundle of wood was sitting on his knees. And he said, don't, why don't you put that wood down on the back of the cart and relax and rest? And the old guy said to the farmer, oh, no, you and your donkey have been so good giving me a ride, but I wouldn't ask you both to carry my wood as well. <laughs> and you know, we know that this body here came from God. We know it. And we know it's his spaceship we're riding on throughout the universe every day. We know that. We know it's his air. We know that without his spirit, the whole atom structure would blow apart. We know that. And yet we still want to carry our own wood. 
We still want to persuade ourselves, yeah, well, he may have given me that, 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 and that, but I can do this for myself. And really, we all want to be a little bit of God in our own lives. And we just hate it when we're driven beyond ourselves. And so, you know, instead of taking of God's life and becoming the mass of gigantic princes and princesses that will bestride the world, we end up stunted little dwarfs who muddle our way through our own lives with our own very limited resources.